works, uh, because in some cases it might not. It's a, sort of a risky thing to do, to, to paint this way. So, I would just, yeah, follow, you know, follow what he has said there. He's, he's trying to be faithful to that whole process. And so when you're looking at the painting, it might help to see, uh, to look at it in the way that, you know, you can see actually what's happening in the painting in terms of the actual paint, the water, the way it actually behaves, and how uh, the, the painter has tried to use those and at the same time control those uh, aspects of the medium to make something work in the painting, to make the painting uh, express something or communicate something. Um, I see that he's mentioned here, he, he's also trying to say true to the beauty of, I think it's, it's not just the beauty of the subjects, which are in most cases uh, probably taken to be conventionally beautiful, like the landscapes and flowers and so on, but I think there's also a beauty in the actual object that he's making. And again, this is back to the process of uh, using what are, in essence, quite sort of humble materials. They're, they're essentially just colors on a surface, you know, and often those colors are made from very humble things, like even just the clay out of the earth, you know. So you're using very humble materials and hoping that uh, by maybe using the, tra the, um, the stimulus of whatever it is you're looking at to transform the materials and the subject matter into something else. And that's what I think really is the art of painting. It's when some kind of transformation takes place with all of those elements, the, the painter, the paint, and the subject uh, coming together and being controlled and allowed to develop in some sort of a way to create something new. And, um, and so far as you can look at the paintings in that way and maybe appreciate them with those ideas in mind. Uh, uh, it might just help to be able to appreciate them a bit better if I put it that way, you know. Um, I think that when anybody looks at a painting, they're also bringing their own sort of response to it. So you'll see paintings here that appeal to you more than others, you know, and everybody will have their own taste. And in that sense, it's, it's, um, it's worth bearing in mind that um, it's kind of like somebody saying, you know, I don't know anything about painting, but I know what I like, you know. That, that's not, it sounds a bit trite, but actually it is true that you should follow your own response to a painting. If there's a painting you like, uh, then just go with that, you know. Some you like more than others, you know. So because there's a variety of different...